have a, a large Muslim community, we have a large Christian community uh, that never, that often don't meet each other. And uh, so just empowering people to uh, meet each other, to talk together. And then there are these, uh, we call it interfaith innovations. The hope is to try and create some ways that after this event's over this weekend, on Monday or Tuesday or a week from Monday or a week from Tuesday, there's something you can still do. In here and everywhere else, I have the same fear of ISIS. So we are all afraid, but we are not the bad people. And this event is the key platform that will help us bring all our fears that we share individually, but now collectively, and we will break those fears and waters of isolation. Thank you. These sessions are designed to give you a chance to learn, to get to know each other, to collaborate and share experiences together. In the end, we hope to spark your interest in, uh, to find ways that we can continue to not just have interfaith dialogue, uh, but to envision future opportunities for collaboration and friendship that will continue past this event. So we learned so much about the Islamic faith which I had no idea about. We have so many similarities and common grounds where we can um, share, um, which was very an eye-opening experience. So when people come here, they have a lot of questions. And at the Global, we try to show them that they're welcome to ask any questions. So they're not fearful. And I imagine this group of people look at the sky, look at the, the world around them, look at one another and ask a couple of questions. How do we relate to one another? How do we eat? How do we uh, get meaning? And how do we treat our elders? How do we get married and boom, culture is born? And we say well, when you meet somebody, you meet them with your eyes, you know, so you make a connection. But the problem is, is our eyes deceive us. And our eyes will automatically bring all the stop blocks that we have in our life and say, oh no, this person's different. I say going to a new relationship with life and get to hear the person, feel them, touch them, understand them, and then open your eyes expecting to see someone like you and be glorious to the Christ. We got to collaborate with uh, Deka, a local Somali musician. We got to do some Somali rock here at the Brian Cole Community Center. That was really, really great. I live in Minnesota. I'm Somali singer and I work with the band. Um, and what I like about sharing my music with other culture is I'm learning and getting new experience. Maybe at the end of the day, I hope that we can come out and say that we agree 90% of the time and we differ 10% of the time. At the end of the day, that we can leave as friends and neighbors and love each other as brothers, sisters in humanity. And I think that will be the best thing we can accomplish from getting together. A compliment. You know, if we take the word, it's not just a matter of walking together, but there's also the notion of breaking bread together. A compliment that pan in the middle. That's 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 pie. That's that, that, that's bread. So a compliment is sharing bread. Companions are people that you have meal fellowship with. So one of the things that we wanted to do was to start to, to do food packing. There's multiple reasons. One is because of, of tackling hunger in every community, but also because uh, food packing was a way to bring the communities together. Um, so when you're doing something fun standing next to each other, it's a way to start to engage. And it's not just talking, but it's really interactive. We really wanted to demonstrate volunteerism, that it was a way for us to show that there's a way to work together in the future, not just on problem areas, but um, really having fun and starting to develop a relationship that we can do together and to show how we can volunteer in other places together to help each other.